rematch is set. With the country in its corner, Russia looks to avenge last year's heartbreaking loss to Sweden. No easy task against the Scandinavian side that has won 10 straight at this tournament. A shot. Sweden, Russia, with a trip to the gold medal game on the line. For Russia, where the fans have had a lot of nervous nights with the home team during this tournament. But they are here in the semis rematch of last year's gold medal game. A date with Team USA in the final on the line. How you doing, Canada? Welcome to semi-final number two of the World Junior Hockey Championship. James Duffy and Bob McKenzie, if you did not break your television by throwing things at it during semi-final number one, we hope you enjoy Sweden versus Russia. Two very different paths to get to here. Sweden, besides one overtime game against Switzerland, pretty much cruised through the easier group, going undefeated and getting the bye. Russia, on the other hand, to overtime against Slovakia in their opener. Really tough game against the Americans. Got pounded by Canada, and then the Swiss take them to a shootout in the quarterfinals. But they have survived, and now they will have that home crowd advantage in the semis against Sweden. To get you ready for it, Gordon Miller and Ray Ferraro. Guys? Well, James, the Swedes may be having an easy time of it, but they've not had an easy time. Four defensemen who would have been on their roster are out, so they've got a young, depleted defense, and they'll face a very good group of Russian forwards. Yeah, if you can figure out which group of Russian forwards is going to show up, but the, the best of the Russian forwards in this tournament have been Nikita Kucherov and Mikhail Grigorenko. They've had a tremendous chemistry throughout this tournament. Grigorenko was player of the game. Uh, in the semi in the quarterfinal game against the Swiss, and Kucherov had the shootout game winner. They'll also get back the hulking winger, Valery Nichuskin. Nichuskin was suspended against Canada for this hit on Tyler Watherspoon. He missed two periods of that game, and then all of the quarterfinal game. He'll be rested, and his size should be a factor in this game as the Russians will want to pressure the Swedes as much as possible. Gord, you mentioned it. With four defensemen out, it's a little bit of a mixed bag of on the blue line for the Swedes. Got plans later? No, why? Last three games between Sweden and Russia, the World Junior, gone to overtime. Perfect. James? Uh, we could use a little bit of drama into this semifinal day. Uh, what do we make of the Swedes? They were talking about the injuries, young team building up to next year when they host the World Juniors. Well, they're defending champions, which is a great start. Uh, but you're right. The Russians are pressure treated in this tournament. The Swedes, maybe not so much. We don't know what they're made of. We know they're the defending champions. We know they got five, six returnees from last year. But we also know that they're missing some key guys. Gord mentioned it. Oscar Klefbaum, Jonas Brodin, Hampus Lindholm, three outstanding defensemen, along with Mika Zabinijad up front. And one of the guys to keep an eye on in this one is Philip Forsberg. He's got 24 shots on goal through four games. That's six shots per game for Philip Forsberg, the Washington Capital first rounder. He's got two goals in this tournament. There are guys in the Swedish team. Victor Arvidsson, who's draft eligible. Sebastian Kahlberg, who's already been drafted, who have more goals than Forsberg. But Forsberg is a game breaker and a guy who could step up in a big game against the Russians. Uh, one of the fun games to play in the World Juniors is to guess which goaltender will be a net for the Russians. Makarov seemed like their guy through most of the tournament, but it was Vasilevsky in the quarterfinals, and back to Andre Vasilevsky for this game against Sweden. The 2013 IIHF World Junior Hockey Championship from Ufa, Russia, is brought to you by the proud premier sponsors of Hockey Canada, Imperial Oil. Our SO Smart Gasoline works harder for you. Think Clean by RBC. RBC Play Hockey, providing all Canadians an opportunity to play the game. By Nike, official outfitter of the Canadian National Junior Team. And by TELUS, proud telecommunications partner of Hockey Canada. You guys, what is happening in hockey right now? I think the question on everyone's mind is simple. Will there be hockey this year? Bob, you know, I have a love of the game. It really makes you wonder, what's happening? I mean, what's your take? Weeks have turned into months. 
How much longer are we going to have to wait? Yet another round of talks are scheduled to take place. Bigger than we realize. Mike, think about it. We're a nation raised on hockey, and we're missing the game we love. It's that simple. Don't you let me tell you the situation. At the end of the day, we're simply not sure what's going to happen. You, me, the listeners, the entire country, we all want hockey back. Playing it you know, we both realize this is a great game. It always has been. There's still lots of kids out there playing the game, and it in its purest form, in its purest level, and it doesn't get any better than that. What are you gonna do? Take away my skates. Take away my. Take away my stick. You can borrow one of mine. Thanks. Take away my pads. I'll just wear thicker socks. Take away our rinks? A lot of lakes. A lot of cold lakes. A lot of cold lakes. And ponds. And streets. And tables. Oh! Take away Canada. I just go to Russia. Rather not. Better well. Rather not. If you want to take away hockey, you better take Canada and everything in it. Because if not, I'll strap roof with my feet. I'd build a rink with my freezer. Find a patch of ice in the middle of the road. And make a puck out of frozen hamburgers. And hit at rocks with a fallen branch if I have to. And I will call it hockey. The 2015 IHF World Junior Hockey Championship from Ufa, Russia is brought to you by AAA Safe and Fun Hockey and by Molson Canadian. Proud sponsor of Hockey Canada. The second semifinal second year for Russia. The whole team takes on Sweden with the winner to face the United States in the gold medal game on Saturday. The referees are from the United States. Steve Batafi and Harry Dumas. The linesmen are from Canada. That's Francois Ducero and Tommy George of the United States. There is Mikhail Vardikov, coach of the Russian national team. Seven years he was a player for them. He made his debut as a player in the 99 Challenge Cup at Madison Square Garden. Roger Rodberg is 41 years old. Here is the head coach of the Swedish national junior team at gold last year. Also a former assistant coach and national team. Starting goal cut is brought to you by Chevrolet Safe and Fun Hockey. And it is Andre Vasilevsky who makes the starts for the Russians. He's done 41 times on 64 attempts by the In a quarterfinal win. And in gold for the Swedes, 19-year-old Nicholas Lundstrom. He won the game against Finland in the final game of the opening round. It was a 3-3 game, but he came and he allowed one goal on 24 shots to get his second win in relief in three games. Now, an early chance for the Rutgers to this Capusta, and that's steered away by Lundstrom. William Carlson, number 17, finds Philip Sandberg, and his pass goes rink wide to Swedish captain Philip Forsberg. He cuts off and on that shot. Jordan's got a man up to Evan. Tom Wilson, number seven, comes back to pick it up. There's the Toronto Maple Leaf draft pick, a fourth round pick of Evan, and this hobbled together sweet defense. Find his first round pick, Brody, Clefbaum, and Lindholm. And it's a clinch for Mason. He's grooving. Now it's a buck. And Lindholm moving in. We've got a penalty early on against the Russian as Nikita Kucherov goes off, and the Swedes will get an early play in the first minute of the first period. Well, the Russians put themselves in penalty trouble against the Swiss a number of times. There's a penalty for Kucherov as he hauls down Colbert. The penalty killing for the Russians did a terrific job. Killed off two long five-on-three stretches against the Swiss. They start off here early in the game and have to get a kill early. And they clear it down quickly as Daniel Jarkov for wins that battle for the Jarkov shorthanded. Jarkov's done a little bit of everything for the He's moved up wide with injuries and suspensions. He's played center, Lincoln, back in power play, you name it. And across by Moline with a shot, and Vasilevs reaches out and grabs that. And Emil Moline, Mo, Moline can shoot the puck. We saw it in the pre turn when he scored against Canada. He could really zip it on the shot, but this shot's going to ramp up stick of the defender and Vasilevsky's already sliding to his left to his right he has to reach back to his left to make the stop his first test off the drop with the drop and out of play as well so Vasilevsky back 
The semifinal start for the second straight year for the Russians, but last year he was pulled in the third period to give up four to 14. Shots. Canada got the score from 6-1 to 6-5. Andrei Makarov came in and got the win and then played the gold medal game. Vasilevsky actually plays for the local junior club. So far, Ufa has played two games for the KHL team here. Salavak. So this is, in a manner of speaking, his home ring. Certainly his home club plays here. And while he's very familiar with this arena, the Swedes are not. They've just practiced here twice. They played their pool games in the other arena. One of them said they'll have to make sure they're aware of how bouncy these boards are, in particular behind the net. It will be somewhat of an adjustment. Like Ron Berg, their coach, told us prior to the game, they feel pretty confident. As I mentioned, practice twice, but they were at the first two periods. Last night's Russia-Switzerland game, he wanted them to see what the atmosphere was like. Hopes that'll give them a little bit of comfort here in the semifinal. Now Carlson steps in for the face-off against Kopachev. And Philip Berg off the face-off win. Lies that Forsberg's pass was off the seat of Harbinson. Harbinson plays for Schlepp. The Swedish elite the number one team in the Swedish elite league. And a lot of players, not players like the Czechs and, and the Russians, a lot of Swedish players split time between the Swedish elite league and the all-spencer second league in Sweden. That's a far better recipe than the elite league sitting there and languishing on the not getting any ice. They move up and down. They get some in the elite league, but the, the junior team becomes their, their main focus. There is a Swedish junior league, but most of the top prospects play either in the all Svenskan or the Swedish elite league. Some of these guys are regulars in the elite league. Rostigan is now turned away as Sebastian Kolberg. He plays for Kowanda in the Swedish elite league. And what an atmosphere here tonight as the Hody tries to punch a ticket to the punt. He comes up at home. And Akhmat racing to it. Four seconds to go. And the penalty to Gachera. Nice harness by Jarvis. He shoulder checked both sides, found where the opening was. They're down 200 feet. Keller plays the Plymouth of the OA and has drive that ahead and it's knocked away and Emil Jusa picks it up. There's a Christian Juice and an Emil Jusa. Christian Juice, by the way, is the son of former NHL Peter Juice. He was good. There's a tip on by Kerov is over. Not much doing on its first Swedish play. Remember the semifinal. Swedes outshot the Russians 39 to 4 in the first two periods. It was scoreless. Shot for 21 in the second period alone. So, Nikos of Inajaz, a goal for the Swedes. OT. Victor Rask put in. Rask in the Calgary hit the Western Hockey League. He's down. Started in the American Hockey League, the second round pick of the Carolina Hurricanes. He played in Charlotte after about six or so, went back to Calgary, where he'll get far more ice time. Linus Arneson looks ahead for Jeremy Bacotaval, who returns from last year's gold medal winning team. The Swedes have six back from last year. More than that, if not for the injury, they scored that overtime for them. Also eligible, not available as a video. Forsberg slides that down towards the goal. It dribbles just wide as Carlson got that. And Kosov plays it up to center right. Carlson. Arneson ahead for Philip Sandberg. Sandberg collides there with Sandberg. Sanders in the Carlson. He got it back. Nielsen with a shot that reflects light. Over. And it's swept by Tushkin. Number 15. I mentioned to Tushkin the one game suspended in the quarterfinal. But most of the Canada. He's pretty hard to miss out there. Six foot four for the And when he gets moving, he is a load. Bill Forsberg's first round pick by the Washington Capitals was ranked about five on his draft here, slid a little bit. He's a power form some pretty nifty hands. Here he spins around the Russian forward as he's getting Really? He's getting the support of Forsberg, who is probably projected to be power forward, straight ahead, strong forward, a little bit of a scoring touch, a couple goals in his tournament. Picked 11th overall by Capitals in last summer draft with the selection they got from Colorado, the second Karlamov trade. And after. It was a defense-heavy top of the draft. He slid just a little bit, and Washington very happy to get him at number 11. Robertson looks for Robert Kelly's play. Third world junior for the Swede. And Bob Walbert. Oh, yeah, Bob. Still waiting to get on track to the world junior. Yeah, Bob. Played 12 games last two years. He had one goal. 13 assists. 
Bangston. Tries to lift that up to the right. Pulls it back down. Wrestling Bangston. Four and out. Big Bangston. Bangston gets it right over the glass and out of play. Bangston has deep a goaltending duel. A one in the tournament. So the Andre Vasilev late in the game, down two one. Vasilev makes the save on. Balmelli of the, of the Swiss, it keeps him to one. They got play Kucherov. That save turns out to be a game saver for Russians. And a cycle that stop and the excellent play. That's like back to back starts here in the tournament. Carlson shovels that on goal. That's your leg. And now Carlson back with it down to Forsberg. Forsberg walked out of the way. Forsberg not related to Peter, by the way. Forsberg's common landing and sweep. Oh, two pretty uncommon players. Forsberg. Crossing goes into Forsberg, so take it down. Finally coming to Pavlidov, and the Swedes will get their second power play with 13.36 to go in the first round. Want a credit card with the annual fee fully rebated every year? RBC. Switch to an all visit RBC VIP bank account and get up to $300 in gift cards. Visit RBC.com. Switch. Want up to four bank accounts without paying for bank accounts? RBC's got it. Switch an all-inclusive RBC VIP bank account and get up to three dozen gift cards. Visit RBC.com. Switch. Guys, I know it's been a rough month, but we're going to work through the night. What's that parrot doing here? Parrot? What parrot? Sir. Have you been all right? Boss? Hmm? Okay. Might have burned out, sir. Maybe you should go home. Okay. Maybe this can wait. Yeah. FC Max. So carries the Max Mastics. So it's a two power play here. The first half of the first period. A swiss opening frame. Andre Vasilevsky. One of five players the Tampa Bay Lightning have dropped the last two years. The Vasilevsky makes the rebound. Sorry. Elias Little. Our play goals. He leads one of them. Rask walks in the circle to shoot puck. The puck never gets to the goal. It's up by a light. Yes, Lindholm was a high rank draft eligible player. Take puck from Vassal and slides it through the five. It was a power play goal for Sweet. Lindholm gets behind the face of the and gives us a goal. Now, Vassilovsky makes the glove save with a sweep. And that's the only thing that's here in the first period. The number one rated power play in the tournament. For this wise, that's their 11th power play goal. In a brilliant attempt, Vassal gets opened up in front of the cage as he's expecting to come, he's going to make a pass up. But Lindholm wants to put it in between his legs. That's what the NHL, but the NHL is like an 88 in the home. Forsberg is in the corner with it now, and you'll see a lot. On his Forsberg line as he tries to shovel that in front. The Chushkin lost the puck to Forsberg. Sanders. And Sanders couldn't pull the trigger. Ray Forsberg looks. Much bigger than the Euro Olympic Swedes who won a goal. We have seen in the players that beat such a physical difference. December to December, we are part Jacob Troop, this would be another one that would stand out. Over Jacob, this is five on five again, they're up. Bump of the half on the first period, just get beads out of the chest. Drop for Nico, we shot one. Top like a big strand up and out of play. Look at the goal again. Lindholm is the centerman. He gets kicked out of the drop. He's on the sidewall and goes straight in the confusion between the Russian defenders. And now he's hanging on the goal line and that's the first step. Oh, walks off the goal. He got the left. The chair on the buck now for the Russians. He was here on the win. Scored the tie. 3 3 late. And then scored the show winner. He gets credit for a goal for the NHF in the three scoring system for sure. The goalie doesn't get credit for a win. He has the shootout get credit for a goal. I'm not confused. He's got to match up the stats. Lindholm has a credit for a goal. goal. He's got to four of them. Natural goal. Kendrick. And Weiss throws the ball. He's got to the game on it. The Swedes playing with the lead. Throws it. He throws. Kills off. Here we go. And Della Rose still. Della Rose, another guy that's watching the posting. Royce wrote it all for Rack. And Tom tries to come with this line right now for the speed. This shows you what great progressives of the game have no idea what's going to happen. Canada had a day off. He'll have a fan kiss. The Swedes have a day off. And they get all over the Russians here in the first nine minutes. Sometimes it's not true. Sometimes it is. The Swedes have to be thrilled the way the first nine minutes has played out. In a tournament, a lot of these European teams have normally played against each other in tournaments. The Swedes haven't seen this Russian team a good part of November during the North American subway. The Swedes have had improved results in recent years, and of course, are the defending World Junior Champions. They won their first title since 19 last year. Albert, of course, falls for Jarkov. He won the title from Sweet and the KHL. Big back trip to you. Okay, Russia. In Moscow. 
It comes Forsberg with it. Forsberg with it. Two cars. Philip Forsberg rips it. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at those Forsberg. How happy Washington is in the draft. Landed in the Forsberg's got room and has his head up looking for the opening the whole way. And both his name elected on the runoff stick, the defenseman. And it goes up over that left. He gets just a piece of it. But so shockingly, in a very white move arena, it's 2 0. And the Russians have been up on the wheels for this tournament. This one's been a very smooth ride this one. Over it back. I go score the bench. Why did we do that? Couldn't say anything about the bench. They haven't been in their zone. This has been the perfect place to meet them. They've played the entire period in this zone. Here comes Ars with it. Lines it back. That's not going to cook. That'll be Rick Wong. Yakubov. Neil Yakubov. They shut the line with one hand. Coke with Jeff. It's by Nilsson. It's a long shot. Knocked down. And the Blues decided home. And we're going to be great for Arvidsson. You know, Mike Dunn's being a genius. Roster whatever comes to the team, but he had his boot there. He's been excellent according to Coach Roger. Bring it around for the man. I stay with him. Step for step. Get the puck. Get it out. I get to 17. I gave it to your photo of the Swedish Elite League. Four for half set to the line and out. So we go shooting by the sixth and the first year and leading 2 0. Pass it. That's off the goal. 
Johnson with it, another draft eligible player. So he's no choice for the point of the Ben Bourbon. And Ben Bourbon back. But Ryan Nelson, this might have unintended consequences for the Swedes who can bring a lot of players back next year. The tournament is in almost And Rask is offside. Obviously chaotic eruptions in the first team to play. Some of it is defensively. Looks like a guy with a hash mark, but no way to structure. They're just wandering around the pistol. Here's another one. Nobody leaves a body nor a stick on the Swedish player. The chances the Swedes have have a pretty for the net. This easily could be at this point. This is dominating a period. That's all the Chaka. Flies out of grass to the Blanco. Alex Ramos to play it. Forsberg battles for the puck. And it's a quick back up. Look back in by Jarkov. Careful check, but Sandberg hands him a beat. And it's going to have to head to Holmes. And Holmes gives Nedlov a whack with the fight for the puck. And it's back to the line. And it's shot by Big Spread wide. And now Big Spread lines for the puck. And again, the Swedes are over the puck. As Holmes puts it in. And bring the pass to the Kapoor. Two players. Away from him and Yakubov. Got down Russian zone, 2.51 to go. Shot is locked up for a shot. Look at the game for Dan Stickbluck. And Bedrick, that's a puck to Arneson. That's that ring line for Victor Arneson. Demigal. Nobody's helped to be of over handed stick. The defense is running on his own. And Arson. Let's fuck out of that. But no, she's not changing the zone. Wait, look at what's in. Domination on his leads here. Time for a shot. Take the pass to Lesky. The rebound bounced away. From Rask. Now that's back with it. Here we go. Here's who to go in the first period. Rask. Get back to Boyce Rose. Come on, man, on that shot. Oh, the front of the sleep course. Kind of a header here in any point of the street. We've talked about this during the tournament before. When they go south and hold the Russians, they can get out in a hurry. That pass for getting too far for him. I can't think what Russia's ever doing. Not one. Four in, shoot the rebound back. Let's fire the pass. So let me make the save on him. Who's catching this? You want the home phone? Home gift card gets you the gift you really want. The Russians do not have a shot on goal in the game. That one particular is an example of how it's going to be. One way to break it, not only do you see Panamid around the city, but the defense of the house is going to be. Oh, shoot, it's going to be on him as well. Lindholm comes up with the ability. The Russians are back in decent shape. They're back in, back in, back in. Look, they're... They're in decent shape. They're going to work out the puck. The two defense when you back to the half-part. They're going to go and back so far. They know they're walking through. Well, not a dangerous scoring area. Into a scoring spot, and he forces fast. Let's get it stopped. Coming up, there's a pound. That on goal. Now, hell of it. That's it back. I'm just sitting there. 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 Sorensen picks it up. He comes Sorensen with a drive. That's the pad to him. A chance for Kutin. Trying to get a ring line. That passes up. Jakubov goes for it. Now Kutin slides it ahead. And it's all sweet here in the first period. And they take a second lead. And hold the Russians. The zip. I'm curious. I'm curious what makes you so curious. Don't change the number three, five. Global team, you're not happy about it. Don't spot, don't tell. That's what you can do here. Jackie Lunching. Now play. Kids never get their first helmet. Chevrolet leaves nothing more important than safety. That's why we're keeping things in place. Giving away our helmets to find old all of us down. Chevrolet, safe on the road, safe on the ice. This is Doug. He jogs twice a week. And Doug jogs for a reason. He jogs for your eyes, those things he loves. Things like Chile Angus beef burgers with bacon, little crispy, fried onion, the jellos. Oh, we call this a guy. That's right. Diet with a G. It is a diet. And this isn't some diet here. Molson Canadian 67. Are you a diet? On this stage, everyone is talented. To be better, who has more go? It could be the quieter, the better, 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 the better,
and we have all team those guys. Well, just that fuel the fire. Get ready to perform. Fuel better than white. Fuel better. Perform better. I'll go with different skies. To help improve minor hockey experience with surf by providing new sky sky and renovating community ranks. Giving young players a better shot at the goal. Low step up improving. The Enterprise Rent a Car, we keep things pretty simple. To treat our customers the way they should be treated. It's treating customers the right way. I'll show you what that means. Big Enterprise will pick you up. <laughs> Take a break from Momentum Winter. Plus, all this is a vacation now and get $150 future credit. Plus, enjoy the protection of our best price. Take a break from Momentum Winter. 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 Take a break from Momentum Complete dominance by Sweden in this one to nothing. Lead just like the first period of last year. Okay, we're talking 17 free. One more if you haven't seen the Canadian both talk about details. We have a five seconds to spread the rumor. Take the channel to briefly. We broadcast of Canada versus the U.S. 10:30 a.m. Eastern, and then 7:30 p.m. Pacific time Eastern time on TSN. Okay, the U.S. dominated the victory. Here's the post game. They play hard. 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 They play it happens last year and uh, it's unacceptable. It's not excuse. I mean, no, we can't. I obviously can't let us hurt. Um, like I said, not going to get too sore. You know, playing this year, you know, I definitely don't want this to happen again. And you know, if it happens again, it's not going to happen again. Shocking part is not a loss. It's a close turn. Things happen every year. It's a really solid hockey team, but it's just the complete domination by the Americans, especially the last year. Canada was supposed to get more than any other team having the NHL players available. You figured out? Yeah, no. I'm dropping. It'll be fine. Here, it's only worth it. From 1990 to Canada won five straight gold medals. There was this feeling of invincibility. From 1998 to 2004 was a seven-year period where they couldn't win gold medals. They won another five-year phase where they couldn't lose. They won gold five years in a row. Now it's four years each year. It seems to be further and further away from the gold medal. The frustrating most mortem for King Canada because you can't point your finger at just one area. It's everywhere. I mean, it's the top players: Brian Newton, Hopkins, Mark Scheifele, Jonathan Huber. So they were not effective. They did not generate anything. They put a manager back defensively. Break down. Here in the middle of the best defense pair for King Canada throughout this tournament. And they picked Mike on the first goal running around. Uh, Malcolm Subban, four goals on 16 shots. Not the reason why they lost, but he needs to be better because John Gibson was better. He had his offense. They're trying to rely on John Long. They shot the puck over the net so, so many times. This team, it's funny the way it because they had the suspensions. They had the injuries. They had the short end. They weren't getting the goal tending. And all of a sudden, everything started to uh, come back together. We know the Americans came around. We know the Russians. And everything looked like one track. And they came out as flat as they did. Uh, I don't know if the answer is. I'm sure we worked on. Swing's down to Russia. It's a lot like the way the U.S. dominated. Canada in that first period. Philip Forsberg was surprised he fell down last year in the draft when he went all the way to 11 when we as a top five and he swung at the end yeah, top five talent. Great first period to watch a couple first rounder. He's so many things well for the Swedes in that period. He drew the penalty that led to Lynn's goal to make it one nothing. He scored the second goal himself and made a number of key players. This guy is a big time player. Uh, last three, again, Sweden, the foundation last year, the shots were 73 in the first, 22 to 1 in the second. So Russia will have to find a way to bounce back a little bit quicker this year. It was all Sweden through one. Thank you, second. Short, yeah. This isn't just a tree, it's a Canadian legend. Its leaf flies our flag, serves our soul, and its character inspires smooth and flake just as legendary. Introducing our moment, we start with the finish. We know how it ended. This is how it happened. Nobody else is going on. Some of the four, there's just us. We've been following you and setting you for long. You're not ready, but you're not! You're fine. He is one of the disappeared ones. Zero Dark Fate, in theaters January 11th. On this stage, everyone is talented. So be better, but who has more go? Maybe a player, the playmaker, the sniper, the shut down defender, the guy who keeps more fight. When you have a whole team of those guys, well then, just add fuel to the fire. Get ready to perform. Fuel better than water. Fuel better, perform it. Take a break from the Book a select all inclusive beach vacation and get the future travel credit. Plus, enjoy the protection of our best price guarantee. Escape winter at Expedia.ca. Expedia.ca. On this stage, everyone counts. So, the better comes down to who has more go. It could be the planter, the playmate, the sniper, or the shotgun defender. The guy who has more fight. We have a team of those guys. Well, then, just that fuel to the fight. Get ready to perform. Fuel better, what? Fuel better, perform better. What inspires us to build safer automobiles? People like Anna and Dave. We're always working on Lucas. 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 Shirley Crooks, interior bags, five star, or for forsake. Inspired by Anna, David, and Lucas. From what matters to you, to us. Chevrolet. Now he's a chance to keep alive, two and one. The pass pass, he just, he scores! He's done it! What a fight, what a goal! Absolutely spectacular! RBC's proud support, Metropolitan Forensic Canada, helping to have a flag on and off in the ice. As a premier partner on Canada, he's supporting across the country to compete for the RBC Cup, Canada's National Junior A Championship. Club Hockey Canada, the receiver of this year. Club Hockey Canada cards. You activate them yellow for daily prizes and deals. Get activate your card at Hockey Canada Club, Canada, excuse me, and start saving on everyday cost. Twelve points towards next year's minor hockey registration. Close to one hundred thousand Canadians have already activated their cards. Join the club.
I'll talk about Phil Forsberg completely owning that first period of play and in many ways rushing some fortune that's only two nights. Brewing Company, we are on what makes Corsa Corsa do we eat ethical? Yes, sir. Do we go below zero degrees Celsius? You betcha. Did we come up with a way for your beer to tell you what it's temperature? Absolutely. And we'll be serving you with delicious slow motion. <laughs> I think we just did. Corsa, who wants a cold one? An Enterprise Art, we keep things pretty simple. Simply treat our customers the way they should be treated. That's our philosophy for more than 55 years. It's no more complicated than that. It's simple. You can be happy Enterprise is one of your favorite places to work car. It's about treating customers the right way. Let me show you what that means. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Pick an old manager. But it's like all those big things now. And get $150 future travel credit. Plus, enjoy the protection of our best guarantee. Escape here. SPDCA. SPDCA. We're true. You're right. With unsurpassed VA fuel efficiency, Chevrolet Silverado has never been a long day's work. And with proven VA power, it can handle every day. Okay. Take Silverado HD. It's the winner of the 2013 Canadian Truck King Challenge. No fear, no problem, and no winner. Because it's the best in class home. Silverado. On this stage, everyone is talented. To be better, comes down who has more gold. To be quieter, to play mid, to sniper, to shut down defender. The guy who has more fire. Wow! Capital team goes nice. Well, just that fuel to the fire. Get ready to perform. Fuel better than water. Fuel better, perform better. We both have a good time. I can't leave over First race, first race, Chevrolet Safe and Fun Hockey. I mentioned parallel between the last year, where the shots were 17 to 3, sweeping in the first 14 to 2 here. And he's doing a Gordon Ray. Yeah, James, we're just used to by the way. Uh, was Paul sweet. That was as dominant a period as you could possibly imagine. I thought we saw a dominant period in the first game. This was incredible. And not only were the chances so one sided, but could the Russians lay out below the map anymore in this lot than this? And times we needed to take a look at the supposed to be hard to get there. Was it the first period? There's an action shot of Nicholas Lester in the first period. He's still in the Swedish net. Magic match for two shots, Brendan. They don't yell and fight. It's wiring like looking at And now here they come again. This is Phil Sandberg. All that said, the Russians are a shot away from the But you mentioned, Ray, they have looked disjointed. Almost from the gate. But there's been there's been little sticks and specks of this through the tournament. There were times when the Russians were trying to catch up. There's all these players who were struggling to keep the swiss. It's a massive lack of time, too. And yet somehow they righted themselves to play one on the other one. Now they've got to find some interest. That's true. Get on the post. That's true. 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 They want to be in the game, but physically they're not there. They have to get one of one two players. And the Jersey guys see them and gently went into the Swedish player. You gotta lay a body on you, get yourself involved in the game. And then the Jersey line goes on. And then the Jersey line goes on. And then the Jersey line goes on. And the Bulls are in front of the Solomon Cards, pushing up the Cowboy. And the Cardigan. They got bumped into the end boards. Jumping up, rather than making a line for the speed. Now Benson shoots, let's make a point of attack. And the Rose had it. Now Benson off, strong.
Tarantino. Gentlemen, you have my attention. He's incredible. <laughs> Riveting. The best film of the year. Tarantino has done it again. Say, what is your mm -hmm. name, boy? Django Unchained. The DSL. Now play. Now here's a chance. The game on the line. It's a two-on-one. The pass across. He shoots. He scores! He's done it! What a play! What a goal! Absolutely spectacular! Our goal was clear from the start to help improve minor hockey in communities we serve by providing uniforms and ice time and renovating community rinks, giving young players a better shot at their goal. Lowe's never stop improving. <laughs>